but it's in the backs that we see some good players here. Number 10 is Eli, Eli Nipkins, and he's been looked at by Australian Rugby League. But number 12 is another off the production line of the Barretts. This is brother number five of the Barrett family. This is Geordie Barrett, the captain, the brother of Bowden Barrett. Bittridge number 21. Brilliantly led by number 21, the reserve fullback, uh, Theo Betridge. He's studying Maori, and my word, he really lifted the performance, but so too did the team of Francis Douglas Memorial College. Yeah, I really enjoyed that Haka battle, Quinny. I, I tell you what, New Plymouth boys, I waited until Francis Douglas had already started, got halfway through their Haka. I wonder if that was tactical, because then they come in and they get the final word, essentially. College traditional matches this season, played up in grammar school, and St. Pat's still. I said, it as, I said it as a positive before with New Plymouth just trying to keep the ball alive Ew, all the time trying to get it out of the out of the uh, tackle but uh, lucky that Miles got dragged in straight away because I think it would have been a, a, a race he was going to win we'll see probably here at the end Shot call, boys. so there's Geordie Barrett uh, now he's the captain both captains, as uh, Mertz has told us, uh, the second five as today. He's the fifth of the Barrett boys. Very organised family, by the way. They had five boys, and then they had the first of the three girls. So eight in the family. He's the youngest of the boys. There was Kane, Bowden, Scott, Blake, and Geordie. All first of team members at Francis Douglas Memorial College. To accommodate his brother, Sean. He's number 11. Bit of a wild pass, uh, Barrett goes in, he's pretty big, uh, our first look at uh, Geordie Barrett, he's tall, not like uh, Bowden, in fact there's some talk about just wondering whether he's in the right position there, just having a chat to some of the uh, Francis Douglas uh, supporters, so Liam Rollins is throwing, Liam Blyde, he ran fairly shield when they talk about the time Last year, they beat New Plymouth Boys High over at the Gully. 24 points to 10 as the greatest day in rugby they've ever been involved with. Here's a breakout now. It's a come from Daniel Waite and the fullback, Brayton Northcote Hill. This game, when he went to Francis Douglas, and he was their second All Black. Last time we came to see them play, he played 45 tests, because I checked. And now he's paid 75, I believe. You think in a build up to uh, Hurricane's game against the Blues tonight, he might even be sitting there watching this, watching his old, uh, his old school. Now they're saying they think it's Sean Waite, number 10. You see, they agree with me. 
Matt Guthrie, the uh, second five eighth. As Barrett gets it out now, finding TK Kalen. Again, it's gone to Nipkins. Now to Barrett. And now the big lock board, Alex Kalen. An awful lot riding on this game for these two teams. It's a traditional game, but it's a local derby. And uh, Francis Douglas haven't scored a try yet, but they're in the lead. Wellington College, an annual game. Been going over 100 years, that one. St. Pat's won by 19 to 17. And up in Hamilton, the Mawaska Cup, which is the Ranfurly Shield of secondary schools rugby, it changed hands. Hamilton boys high playing with the shield. Lost it to the Challengers Auckland Grammar School by two points. 19 to 16 games during the week. There are the... the to see Neepkins, I would say, maybe using use of the boot a bit more in this half. Okay, let's see what he does here. He's very, and that's gone to Barrett, in fact. Two big guys there at 10 and 12 for Francis Douglas. Actually, people in Manawatu will be, will be uh, screaming with the White Locks originally from uh, Manawatu. Nine running with it this time. Now here is Guthrie. He passes this time to the centre. And this is dangerous for New Plymouth Boys High. Good pass by Anderson, the scrum up, and they swing onto attack. They're in the right end of the field, aren't they? To hang on for the victory. There's Liam Burnett. We've got a sub. Two black. So nice play from Geordie Barrett there, just dropping it onto his left foot. Obviously at home, kicking off both feet. Probably being Look out for Ingi Fido if it gets that far. Look out for the red boots. Jordy back, lovely off pass there. Long passing. And now here's the big first run from Tupo. Hold the phone. The Rhino's got the ball, 22 metres line. We don't mean to be disparaging there. The boys around the school call him the big charging Rhino. And he's a 135 kgs. Actually dropped a couple of kgs from last year. And look at this. There comes the rhino. Boy, he is tough to stop. 135 k's of pure tongue and beef. He's the co-captain, remember. And they take it to the left. Bell. Offside here. As Boyan goes for the corner. Where is the back? It's scattered the big man. And he scores the first try of the season. Oh, will there be consultation with the touch judge? We'll have a look. They're going to have the meeting. <laughs> Try is awarded. And the man we've been talking about is Nella Tupol. And Sacred Heart have the early...